attending to unminding my business the other day, exercising a little foreplay on the proverbial nakedness of poetry when somebody choked the future out of her democracy. That lady of poetry. Somebody said the revolution would not be televised, but I got a cancellation notice on my two-way last night. As she lay spread before me, beckoning this writer's tongue to lap at her walls and drink from her well of words, I became immersed in the verse of her body's song. Her heartbeat embraced the rhythm of my breath, and we made music all our own. And in the crescendo of our melody, her prophecy came to me like an epiphany. Her eyes cried the psalm of late poets whose verses were heard only after the earth's consumption of their flesh. They said her soldiers were guilty of treason for leaving her on a battlefield far away to die in an enemy territory of Slam, USA. Her stretch marks mapped time traveled by bloodied feet of slaves. Her vagina exuded a tartness that hinted of crack baby graves. That lady of poetry, she made love to me. Until we were ugly, and we were pretty, and we were everything, and we were nothing, and we were only just beginning, and we were omega as we were dance. And we were soft, and we were gritty, and we were not one punani, but many, many, many pieces of love and pieces of grief falling onto tear-stained pages of time's resistance. resistance. That lady of poetry. Her breasts were swollen with the hope of her dark past. Her hips curved gently into the full promise of her strong thighs. I tucked her hand into the shadow of my red locks, turned my mouth to kiss her palm. She traced my lips with the writer's crimped fingers and dug deeper inside me than any man ever could have. Somebody said the revolution would not be televised, but I got a cancellation notice on my two-way last night. They said in spite of all our sex education, AIDS was still on the rise. And in spite of our determination, we are still self-victimized. They said in spite of our cooperation, we gorge ourselves with political rhetoric, thinking ourselves young politicians and become as the pig we claim to not eat. Wallowing in the spoils of gentrification, no place to lay our heads, for we dread any place intrusive enough to call itself home. So we roam through knowledge unknown, forging forward on an escaped goat with empty pens as swords. Yeah, if you ain't heard, they said the revolution was on its way when it was overtaken by a welcome intrusion. A team of power thieves, apathy the hater, civil the liar, rights the invader, backed by a partner called iniquity. Somebody said they found the Black Panther's dead. Three blows to her head sprawled on a bed with post-mortem levity. Yeah, they told me that lady of poetry took to the stroll to make herself whole because the revolution was canceled due to negativity. But I never told a soul, just opened up my door and let that gangster whore climb right on up inside of me. <laughs>